Hi, everybody, and welcome to Them Wise Girls. I'm your girl, Jada. And I'm Nelly. Lala. Hi, everybody, and welcome to our 10th episode. We are so happy you guys have been watching us and supporting us, and we just want to say thank you. So, ladies, how was your week? What's going on? Well, my week was good. We had a little scare at work. Um, You know, with everything going on and COVID going on, we thought we had a a co-worker that had COVID. She got tested negative. Good. So that's that that was really good um but right now I just have like a slight cold so now I've been drinking my my tea (laughs) my cold medicine you know just trying to get run this out of my system you know and with schools closing now we can I get more rest (laughs) but the week was good how about you Well, my week was busy, busy, busy. I would much rather, you know, it be Friday, which I'm so happy it is. And I got to say, I'm in a good, happy place this week. Um, despite all of the stress, I just mentally feel like I'm getting back to my old self, the old me. And I think it's just got a lot to do with me being more self-aware Mm-hmm. Um, eating healthier and then being active, you know, exercising. So I'm feeling good. How are you, JD? I actually had a good week too, Lauren. I had a really nice week this week. I can't complain. Um, so I did a little boo boo the other day on Facebook. <laughs> I was updating something and then it wouldn't go away that I had graduated. So technically I graduated this past May, but I just was updating it and then I'm getting all these congratulations. I'm like, what's this from? And I said, oh, Facebook just won't let you be low key about anything. So I just was, I, I thank everybody for the congratulations. I appreciate it. Thank you. It was a long and hard journey, but it's officially over. And I'm so excited about that. So um, yeah, thank you so much. But You're other welcome. than that, my week went really, really well. I feel like you, Lauren, I feel like I'm in a good place this week. I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm, you know, eating better. I got my little salsa over here with me, Um, you know, so I I feel good. I feel like I have energy. I don't feel like I'm in a rut or always exhausted and tired as I used to be today. I cheated a little bit, but, you know, we'll get back on track. But other than that, I'm doing good. Yeah, no cheat day won't hurt nobody. Yeah, yeah, little cheat day. I've been I've been doing my little walking too. So you know I'm out there doing, you know, getting myself together for yeah. whenever COVID leave us. I could go out and go on vacation and live my life. So whenever you know. COVID leaves. <laughs> whenever. When is COVID leaving? Well, That's Dr. Right. You, what's his name? Fucci? What's his Fucci. name? Fucci. Yes. Yeah. I think he it's Fucci. said he said um that covid will be around oh, all wow. the way until 2021 he <laughs> said we won't see a sign of normalness until 2022 that's what he he was saying i remember when he spoke about that and he said there won't be a sign of normalness until 2022 so he Whoa. said we're gonna be dealing with covid for a good oh, long while time. yeah so you know, I'm afraid too with with us gearing in for the gearing up for the winter season. Mm-hmm. So now we have COVID. We've got the flu season coming. This is just gonna be it's like a whammo, right? Ever. Yes, yeah. a whammo, you're right. Yeah, it's gonna be terrible. So please make sure that you're staying up with your vitamin C, you're staying out of people's faces, you're using the right precautions, social Taking vitamins, mask. wear your mask. It's important. These things are super, super important. Mm -hmm. And I know it's hard because you want to be with people like I miss you guys. I want to be with you guys. I I really do. But I know that us staying away from each other, it not only saves our lives, but we're just taking Mm -hmm. the proper precautions like we should. And, you know, there are times we're showing love to to everyone else, because if we didn't care for others, you know, 
we we mm-hmm. would be we would exactly we would be i mean i would love house. to drive up to lauren's house tomorrow okay i know <laughs> that she has her baby girl i was like jade where, where am i meeting you at oh, yeah girl, she has girl. her baby girl and we gotta okay. take precautions too i have my grandmother mm-hmm. but you know we're here we do this this is our time and i enjoy it and love it and love to have the conversations and talk to you guys via zoom it's always fun so i'm glad mm-hmm. that we have them wise girls to do that we have that platform mm-hmm. okay. yeah hopefully so soon we can have an episode or two together yes in, in the flesh <laughs> in the flesh okay. yes absolutely One day. i tell you though for us to be on our 10th episode that tells you a lot it we does really, we love each other and you know them wise girls is forever yes we be back and forth via text every day we text each other talk to each other asking questions seeing what's going on checking in make sure everybody's okay you know and I I really 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 enjoy that and I love that and I appreciate that that's something that we do and that's something that we always think about because it's important you know we have to think about each other in these times so not just within us but our extended family because there are more than wise girls girls and just us we have these conversations and we talk and we make sure everybody is doing okay so i appreciate that me too and you know what you think about it our 10th episode and that's that's accomplishment we are very proud of you girls thank that's you i'm proud of y'all too we good job off, we started off as an idea a group text idea yeah that came to me and i was like what what Okay. Yeah. And we just ran with it. We started with started for nothing from the top. So we, we have growth. We have grew. Yeah, we certainly did. And in our growth, you see the different episodes and how many people have viewed it. And mm-hmm. that's why I, I always thank our viewers because without them it wouldn't be us and I know it sounds so cliche because you know celebrities say that but it's the truth if you don't have a platform or people who are standing by you it's going to be nothing so we appreciate Mm -hmm. everybody who takes time out of their day to sit here and watch us talk about everything under the sun you know we appreciate that and we really genuinely thank you for sticking with us and we hope you continue to stick with us because we're going to have a a lot more conversation especially in COVID we're going to be doing this for a good long time a good long time imagine episode 100 (laughs) I can't wait (laughs) for sure but you know, we're gonna it go through seasons me. of seasons. Spring, winter, yeah. fall, back to spring. Back there to you go. That that'll be yeah, that's true. That'll be something to look a whole to. and and a whole new year next what a month. We gotta be yeah, in, we'll be in twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. This year flew, even though it was like the craziest year. It flew. It did. But, you know, just to look at where we are now to where we used to be is amazing. And it reminds me of when I was younger, you know, you were always so anxious to grow up and I'm going to do this and I'm going to be this and I want to do this with my life and I'll never do this. And I mean, look at us now. We just are, you know, Mm -hmm. it is. So what are some things you would tell your younger self? Like people talk about this all all the time. And I know Lauren, you sent me the picture of Jada Pickett Smith. Yes. Of her in her young days, probably when she was on a different world. Yeah. She was talking about a younger me. You know, like what would you tell your younger self? What are some things you would tell yourself at a certain age or a certain spot in your life? Because as we know, not every chapter was perfect, but it was memorable and it helped you to continue to grow. So what would you tell your younger self? Like, what are some things you would say? I mean, for me. I would tell myself, don't be in a rush to grow up. I mean, I wasn't fresh or anything, but I was always like, oh, I can't wait to to be older and do what I want. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm sorry, but I just have to share these (laughs) pictures. Okay, I have to share them. I have to share them. Look at us. Look at us. What What would you tell Lauren here? 
Okay, I would tell myself here, okay, first and foremost, I think this picture, if I recall right, was right before you guys surprised me at my for an engagement party, my engagement party. Mm -hmm. And yes. I cried ugly. I'm an ugly crier. Uh -huh. And I had no idea. I forget how you guys posed it to me um, to that you were coming to, to go to, I guess, a gathering with me, I assume. But I didn't truthfully think much of it. I didn't know it was our engagement party, surprise engagement party. So, um, yeah, that, that, I don't know why you guys did that to me, but what I would tell myself was, A, you're about to be surprised. Please don't do the ugly cry, number one. <laughs> that's, the, that's the first thing. But in truth, I would tell myself here that you are enough in the sense of you don't have to prove anything to anyone and take things seriously, but don't take them too seriously. You know, I'm the type of person where my word is my bond. And if I say, or if I say I'm going to do something, or if you say you're going to do something, please do it because then I'm heartbroken if it doesn't happen. That's true. It's, I've encountered that with you. I've yeah, encountered it's like, that. Yeah, it's constantly on my mind. Like, oh, we got to do this. 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 Yeah, that's so and, true about you. Yeah, and I just, in, in truth, I mean, from the time of this picture to the time I actually got married was about a year and a half, okay? Mm -hmm. So all during that time, I was driving everyone crazy. And it was just because that's how I handle anxiety. I, I'm like, oh, we got to do this. Oh, we got to do this. But truthfully, I would tell the Lauren here, take it easy, appreciate everyone in your life and appreciate those moments. Like my cousin came, well, my cousins came up, but this one cousin, Jade, uh, came up a little earlier than everyone else to coax me into going. And um, I appreciate that. So I think for me now, looking at that, Lauren, is, is don't be in a rush. Mm. Just enjoy every moment. That is so dope. I enjoy that. So <laughs> at this moment in my life, I was going through a very rough period. I had just lost my job and I just was going through it. And so I think I just was so, I had so much anxiety because I was like, okay, I got to find another job. You know, you're just having your own money doing you living your life. And that's something that I wanted to continue to do. But I think in this moment, I needed to slow down because I was going, 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 going. And I really honestly needed to slow down in my life and cherish these moments and enjoy them and be happy about them. And I just was so upset and so sad and about being let go from my job because I had never experienced that before but in a way it kind of worked out because I was taken out of a situation that wasn't no longer good for me and Ooh. I needed to be let go and I just at that moment I really wish I would have just enjoyed being out of work more I just Ooh. was because I'm a go-getter I'm like okay I gotta the day they let me go was the day I went home and started looking for another job even though I was looking for another job previously but it just made me that more much of a go-getter but I would say Jade enjoy the moment in this picture enjoy these moments enjoy being with your family I love when we all get together and I do have a picture on my Instagram from I think Chase's graduation party where I wrote I wish we could do this every weekend and I mean that and I enjoy those moments with you guys all the time which is why I enjoy doing them wise girls because I get to be with my family you guys are more than just, you know, my family, you're my friends, like, you're my friends. And I know Kim Kardashian says it all the time, where sisters by blood, but friends by choice. And you guys are my friends by choice, because I always come and ask you guys certain things, and you're there to support me. So I, I at that moment, I would have wanted to enjoy life a little bit more and not be so caught up on the anxieties of life and being anxious because I was no longer working. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I wish I would have done that more in my life at that moment, honestly. I didn't know you lost your job there. I didn't know that. Yeah, I had just lost my job like a month prior. 
You had a and, big old cheese smile on your face. So I didn't you know, that's one anything. thing. She always is a supporter. Like <laughs> you, are, you know, we may have our, our rough patches, but I gotta say, my cousin supports me throughout everything. And if I, I don't do, she, I'm like, we gonna hear about it for life, will we not Chanel? <laughs> Melly, will we not hear about it for life if we don't? For life. <laughs> okay. I do vaguely remember you having lost your job. But to be honest, honest, like I hearing you talk now, I could hear how it hurt you, how the how painful it was. But at the time, I didn't see how painful it was, if that makes sense to you. Yeah. Um, now I can see it and hear. Right. But at the time I didn't. So right. maybe so, that's just part of me growing up. So I'm gonna move on to a better time in my life. <laughs> this was a good time in my life Hello. And I just got in the job I'm at now like a week prior and oh. I think I had just turned 30 at this point oh. in my life I think I had just turned 30 yeah I'm not ashamed yes she just Woo-hoo. turned 30 looking like she was 22 okay. um, and just at this moment I would I, I'm the type of person I don't take things in well the way I probably should to really bask and sit back and enjoy a moment I'm so much of a go-getter I'm thinking about okay what am I going to do next what's the next plan what am I going to do? How am I going to do it? You know, so I think I, I would have wanted what I would tell myself then was, girl, the ride's not over because it's about to get more bumpier. Ooh. Some stuff is about to come out. Things are about to happen. Mm-hmm. But hold on and continue to be who you are. And never, ever, I always remember someone told me, don't let anybody steal your joy. Nobody. Because people will try to steal it or people are intimidated because of the way you are. And don't let anybody take that away from you. And at that moment, that's what I would tell myself at that particular moment. Jay, don't let nobody steal your joy. Because people try to. Things happened after that that really hurt me, that bothered me, um, that I still carry. But I'm, I'm trying to shed those things and focus on the good. Get back to that size. <laughs> COVID won't let me be great. <laughs> nope. COVID won't let us be great. Let me tell you, we're working towards it. We're working towards it. We're working towards it. Because let me tell you, when we come out, if we ever come out, baby, this the day coming. coming back out. Okay. I'm coming out. All Woo. right now. I want the world to know. <laughs> hey. I've got to let it show. Uh, so this right here, this J right here. <laughs> yeah, I, I came across a hard hard part in my life but after this it got bumpier (laughs) it was a great moment but it got bumpier and I went through some stuff and you know I'm I'm still sitting here I came out of it and I'm thankful for it and I'm gonna continue to you know try and be the best version of myself that I could be we're not perfect but I do want to try and just be the best jade that I could be to everybody around me and that's what I would say to my young jade right there yes girl enough that makeup was beat oh yes that makeup was beat. It was. It was. Okay. Okay now. Oh, Lord. This picture, believe it or not, I was three weeks pregnant here. And when we know. We did not know. Let me tell you, I knew. I just didn't read the signs because <laughs> I went. This was prior to a, a teenage graduation party. Now I was what? Uh 30 here I was 30 and um I could not fit anything on my belly over my stomach that where my stomach was just super pronounced now back then you know I was I was fit I was I had a nice nice little shape going but I did not have a gun and um I just could not fit nothing on and I finally settled on a peplum shirt because it was the only thing where my gut wasn't too bad. But as you can see, my gut was poking out just a little bit there. (laughs) And I didn't know. And the next week, I just did not feel right. And I did not respond right to a disagreement that my husband and I had. (laughs) 
and I knew something was wrong. And sure enough, I was pregnant. The very next week I found out. (laughs) This was a Saturday. I must have found out either that Wednesday, that next Wednesday or that next Thursday that I was pregnant. So can I just say this really quick? So when La called and told me she looked crazy, (laughs) I'm going to say that. She had on this wig and I'm like, where are you going? She's like, I just want to let you know that my husband and I are expecting. I said, (laughs) she was so dramatic about it. I was like, you know what? I I know know what to think. (laughs) And you know what? I remember the video you sent out for the rest of the family sitting in your chair with your, I think you had a a beige blazer. Uh huh. And I just remember you twirling in the chair. So me and Matthew are expecting. Oh, I still remember. I don't video. remember. That. I don't remember the video. <laughs> Let me tell you, pregnancy makes you do crazy things. So mm. I believe you when you say I probably did. I that I did because pregnancy. I just don't remember. A, you get pregnancy brain. And you do crazy things that you outright normally would not do. Um, but what I would tell myself here is everything, A, is going to be okay. Your life is going to change dramatically. But it will be okay. You're going to welcome a beautiful little girl. And with that, you're going to show her all the love there is in the world. Um, that so that's too. what I would tell myself there. Um, because there I was... I was confident. I was grand. My hair, still, I have never been able to have wet and wavy curls like this ever. And in that picture, mind you, all that was in my hair was wild grow and coconut oil, okay? And it stayed like that the whole night. I danced the whole graduation party. And And you don't go back to that? My hair never, my hair, I'll wear it wet on occasion, but my curls, have never been popping like this. You know what? Sense. You probably have to. You probably have to tr- now train because you always get it um flat iron. I always stuff. flat iron it. Yeah. yeah. If if you would have to go, if you want to do natural, you would have to train your hair to go back to natural. Yeah. And flat iron it too much. Like yeah. It's it's like permanent it straight. Straight. <laughs> but you do look popping there to be three weeks pregnant. You look I'm good three now. weeks pregnant, and I just didn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's and, funny. No, and the, it's no. crazy because a friend of mine was at the little graduation party and um, she was like, girl, I didn't know you had so much shape. And I was like, I've been had shape, but clearly she saw more than what I thought I had. <laughs> yeah. So it just, I, that's what I tell myself is it will be okay. Your life will dramatically change, but it will be okay. It's worth it. Love's worth it. That's right. Now we're ready. Baby. Okay, now. Well, that's me. This is recently. This is like two weeks ago. (laughs) So what I would tell myself two weeks ago was (laughs) (laughs) that um, you would have a scare (laughs) in your life. Um, But everything is fine. You know, you always have your mother. Uh, to calm to to calm you down. Um, yeah, just keep on living, keep on going. You got this, and you got this. Um, and just keep moving. You know, do you do do you? But always have family. Involve family is everything. Even with this COVID, we have grown closer as a family. Um, uh, you know, our different relationships have grown closer. So you know, just keep going. Stop being a chicken. Uh, well, I think I always would be a chicken, but you know, grow, you know, grow up a little bit. So that's what I would tell myself from two weeks ago. <laughs> Beautiful picture. Oh, I, I love that. <laughs> was my sailor outfit. I think I was about maybe five or six. This was in Disney World. Oh, um, our favorite place. That's our favorite place. We grew up going there pretty much every summer. And we did. Um, I was so every young. Summer? Yeah. Every, every summer. Part. Oh, yeah. Wow. 
I was in the park. Yeah, we we said stuff. we were gonna live in Vistana. Yes, we did. <laughs> I still want to live there. <laughs> yeah, we still want. <laughs> I went to Disney once, and I don't even know because per who? What was the word? Say it one more time. What was the word where y'all want to live? Vistana. Oh yeah, I've never heard. Of that, it's so. um a timeshare. And uh, it's beautiful. It has the beautiful salmon colored buildings. Ooh. And it's just like the, the grounds are so beautifully manicured. A pool and with a waterfall. Yes. Ooh. And the slide. Oh, man. And remember the wings? The yes. wing service? Yes. Ooh, and then pina coladas? Yes. We were shrinking pina coladas and Shirley Temple. Yes. yes. You can't have pina coladas at that age. We were having no, virgin virgins. Oh, pina virgins. coladas. Okay. okay. Uh-huh. And Shirley Temple. And yeah. French fries and, and chicken oh. fingers. Ooh. That was just our summer thing. Like yeah. I, I enjoyed this. I enjoyed this moment in my life. If I knew then what I know now, <laughs> I probably would have done certain things a whole lot differently. But at, at this point in my life, I was young. I barely talked unless I was around my family and I was mm-hmm. comfortable with you, which I still do as an adult. I have to be really, really comfortable with you in order for me to start gabbing and going off and talking and getting real jade jade with you but um i was super 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 shy um i honestly did not know my life was gonna be what it is now at that age i really just thought everything was like peaches and roses like Ooh. we could go live at the santa when we got older and we could have our families there and we could go to disney every day because disney world was it like that's what i honestly thought you know at that age but honey <laughs> If I knew what I know now, then it would have been completely different. But I honestly wouldn't change anything that I've gone through because it has helped me to grow as an individual and to look back at this picture and see me in this outfit. Because, honey, y'all know my outfits was on point. My mother would, and my grandmother, they was at the boutiques for me, honey. Do you know my mother recently told me, she said, you know, I liked dressing you like Raven Simone because she was on the Cosby be show at the time oh, and so my yeah. mom was like I love the outfit she would wear in fact in one of her um I think it was in a theme song she, she was dancing I have the same outfit the same exact outfit I have the same the wow. hat and everything the same outfit and so my mom you know she enjoyed dressing me I was like a little doll to her which I'm sure Lauren you could understand that with your daughter I can, so, I can. you know you you want to continue to dress them but um that's what I would tell myself in those moments for sure Nelly look at you yeah. with the on. Well, so I love dressing dress How was <laughs> high school that was high school i was so skinny i was so skinny i had those dress jersey dresses and probably every color i <laughs> love those and guess what shoes i had on the chinese slippers the match okay because i had every I color those. i had every color white black green i had every color the <laughs> they were so comfortable but this is high school and I would tell my high school self, stop being so, I was so quiet. I wasn't quiet, but I wasn't the outgoing person as I am now. Um, I was very insecure. As you can see, I'm like, mm, don't look at me, but look at me, you know. Um, I don't think you were. I was very, I was very, in, in high school, I was like, don't look at me. Don't, mm-mm. <laughs> But now, baby, yeah. she out. So, I was quiet. I wasn't out. Uh, I wasn't outspoken as I am now. Um, like you was always outspoken. Not not as much as high school. High school, I was. I was. I was. I was still growing into my shell. I was very, you know, reserved. Um, yeah, yeah. So. I was I was still in the shell. I was still growing. I was still learning. So if I can go back, I would probably try to try to, you know, grow out of the shell that I was in so much, so tightly in. 
um, I would appreciate, you know, the, 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 the body that I have now, you know, it's that great. But, you know, back then I was so skinny and seeing other people, I'd be like, I want that. Ugh, now look. <laughs> <laughs> So, I think that's yeah. everybody. Uh, yeah. This COVID goddess. Yeah. COVID yeah. goddess. COVID. <laughs> so that's what I would tell my aunt. And I think I had braces in, in high school. So I didn't really take a lot of pictures in high school because I didn't like my smile. Now, hmm, I smile all the time. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah. I would, I, and people knew me, but not too much, not many. You know, you, if you hang out with like one popular chick and everybody else kind of knows you because you hang out with that one popular chick and that was me. I had one good, really good friend. We're still really friends. We're still really good friends now, but not as close. But she was a girl that everybody wanted to date. Everybody wanted to talk to, you know, stuff like that. And I would because we were so close, I am just tag along. So wherever she went, I went. We had all our classes together. We shared a locker together. We, I think we ate lunch together. Um, so cause, because of they knew her, they knew me. So I was kind of like kind of the popular chick, but not really. I still was a little timid. Um, yeah. So those, oh, I had, I had some dark, dark knees. Ooh, I, I, Scrub my knees now. Oh, probably sorry. the color. <laughs> probably just the color oh. of the picture. <laughs> so, I and I it. have my braids. I think those are braids. So you know, I love my braids back then. I still love my braids. Um, so yeah, That's I, what I find mean. it interesting. You shared a locker too. Did you share a locker, Jada? No, Did you? we didn't have. No. I had to carry oh. my stuff around with me. The only time we had a locker was when we had gym. And if I had gym with one of my friends, we would share a locker then and put our mm. stuff in one locker. I'll either buy the lock or she would buy the lock. But we didn't have lockers. I carried my stuff with me. Sometimes we would- So you're push- cool? You could, but sometimes what we used to do was we would sneak up to the locker room and put our coats in there and Ooh. lock it up because usually there was a lady waiting downstairs. Mm-hmm. But um, so sometimes we would do that. My friend would take all of our coats and we would go and put it upstairs and leave it there. But then sometimes we couldn't do that. So you had to carry it around with you. Yep. That's crazy. New York City public school system, baby. <laughs> yeah. So there was no lockers. Nope, only for gym. Those oh, were the wow. only times you had lockers. Well, I had lockers. Yeah, well, I had like, lockers. Had lockers. And I let me tell you, I had to much. share it because I never could open the dog on thing. Okay. <laughs> that was so. me. Me too. Sometimes I yeah. would wait. Sometimes I would wait for my friend to come because we usually had like the same period. And sometimes I'm gonna wait till she comes to unlock the. I'm like, oh, you coming? Okay, I'm gonna wait for you. So you can unlock the lock. Yeah. I'll be like, I don't wanna do this no more. Yep, like, those are yeah. the only times we would have it for Jim. And that was it. And we would put everything oh. in there and come back at another time mm. or another period to pick up the stuff. So that's wow. what I can do. Yeah. That's just that's that's a a major shock to me. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, when I went into high school, I thought we would have lockers, but <laughs> I was really sadly mistaken. <laughs> so you never had them. Nope. Only for gym. Only. So you never had wait. So you never had lockers during middle school or middle school. Just... I had lockers. Oh, okay. okay. Middle school. I had when I was in junior high, seventh and eighth grade. I had lo- my, just... and I had my own locker. I didn't have to mm. share with anybody. I don't think I shared with anybody. I, I had my own it's locker because they thought that you guys would bring paraphernalia in. Well, we mm. had metal detectors at our school. So, I don't so I don't know I don't know if maybe it was the space I mean it was a big school I went to James Madison High School and it was yeah, a big, big school, school. but mm-hmm. at the same time you have all these students who will want to share a locker with someone something goes down now you're being held accountable so mm-hmm. in a way it kind of worked out I like the fact that I just had it for gym to put my mm-hmm. stuff in when I changed yeah. into my gym clothes. Because did y'all have to change into gym clothes for your gym class? Oh, I hated that. <laughs> I would go in the corner and try and open up the, if you there was a spare that. locker, 
open up the, the door, the spare locker's door and go in the corner and hold the door and try and get behind and pull my clothes down. And it was terrible. It I hate it. You gotta go, you gotta freshen up, take baby wipes. Oh my goodness. I remember they used to love me because they always wanted to come get my baby wipes and powder and stuff. Like, get your own. I, I hated it. I you. hated it. And there would be some days I would just put the gym clothes over my clothes and just. Oh, Because you know no. what? We didn't have a, it wasn't a rough gym class. And depending on the class you took, um, it wasn't bad. It wasn't like you did a lot or you really was in gym sweating and doing it. My best oh, gym no, class. Oh, they made dance. us sweat. Dance was good. But dance I had to wear leggings for. But I enjoyed Ooh. doing dance. But when I did, I think it was square dancing, I didn't have to wear a uniform. I was able to wear my clothes as is, which was nice. I oh. like gym. I did. I always, you know, I've always liked being active, but it was just the fact of being sweaty and having to go back to clap to another yeah, class. Like, yeah, who yeah, yeah I was do that. that. I, I would like that like at the end of the day. Like I liked it being my last period class, but that no, normally mine usually had morning. it like third period, fourth period, something like, like right after lunch or something like that. Yeah. So you was like, ew, I can't air out after that's not. No, it was terrible. Yeah. And then when you had to run the mile, you'd have to run that. Oh, I nearly died. And we had to walk up all these stairs to go back to the locker room. I thought I was going to have an asthma attack. Oh, no. I was like, you okay? I said, no, I'm not okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't no, keep running. Funny. I got to walk upstairs. I don't know. What was the point of them having us do that? Like, terrible. You burn oh, our okay. calories. I don't know. Yeah, but it was only once. I remember it was like once a year that you had to run it and you had to run it under a certain time. Oh, no, we didn't have to do under a certain time. Oh, um, yeah, you had to run it under a certain time. I think it was like under 15. I mean, I always got under 15, but it was like, like, yo, this is like now looking at it. What was the purpose? Exactly. It sounds like they were training you for track. Child, I wouldn't make it thin, and I sure as heck won't. I got make little it legs, down. you know. I'm short. Me too. Any <laughs> reason going up the train at, at the train station to step? Girl. Girl. I'll be like, <gasps> <Girl. laughs> you'll find that from walking, you that will decrease. Um, because I know now that I walk on the treadmill a lot and go for walks. Now I'm like, oh, okay. Now I still sweat. I'm just a sweater, but um, the the breathing, I've been able to start controlling my breathing. Yeah, okay, those, those, now those 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 um subway stairs are not fun. Okay. I don't know how people go up them train. fast. Like when you're in rush hour and they just go uh, fast. And, and especially if you're in, in, in Brooklyn and all the, the rural areas, they, they rush. So you try to, and they looking at you like. Like, can you get up the steps, man? You ever been to Broadway <laughs> Junction? Yeah. And saw those stairs there? Yes. So I used to go home with my coworker. Me and her would take the train home. And so we took the same second train home too. Mm -hmm. One day the escalator wasn't working. I said, oh, oh, I'll take the bus home today. I'll see you because I'm not walking up them steps. Not and I did not and walk up steep. them steps. They steep. Yes. They go up. Those mm -hmm. steps are killer. I was not doing it. Mm -hmm, That's a whole workout. No. That is no, 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 not me, baby. Even the escalator. I get a little scared sometimes when I go in the escalator because yeah. you see it a certain way. Yeah. <laughs> go this way or that way. I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm just. I'm gonna just stay neutral. Yeah, I don't, don't want to die. And don't look yeah. to your left or your right because you got people going up and down the stairs. People you know, going up and too. down. I said, "Oh, close to them won't be me." I just keep I just keep my eyes on on the prize, the A train. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> that escalator ain't no joke. Yeah, <laughs> it's not. That's so true. Uh -uh. I always enjoy talking to you guys. I, I do love too. reminiscing, Me going too. down memory lane. This was a really, Crazy. really good show. I enjoyed it so much talking about what we would tell our younger selves in addition to what was going on with us this week. It's always nice getting together. And you know, tonight I have me a little treat. 
let me see. Let me see what you got. What y'all got tonight? So I went to Olive Garden. I wasn't supposed to be there, but I went there anyway. And I went and I got, I really wanted the lemon cream um, cake. If you ever go to Olive Garden, get their lemon cream cake. It is amazing, but they didn't have it. So uh, I got a pumpkin cheesecake, which ooh. is yum, yum. So really good. <laughs> at one time, I was allergic to pumpkins. I hope I'm still not allergic to pumpkins. If I am, I'll call y'all from the ER tomorrow. <laughs> you, know, uh, you have Benadryl at home at least. So a friend of mine had made like a pumpkin bread and I had some. I think I only could have it like in small dosage. So I oh, had some of it and I was okay. Sliver. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. I have a sliver now. Yeah, I'm going to have just a little bit, just a little taste. And after that, yeah, I'm not going to have you, um, lower, you know. I don't want to go hospital tonight, honey. No, no, her throat be right. swelling up. And I'll be FaceTiming and y'all say, honey, I do Please don't. Just have a little sliver like Chanel said. Please, I'm not me snorting. That's hilarious. Listen to Nelly, okay? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. What you got, Chanel? So, what you got, Nelly? I went to, where did I go? Stop and shop. Because okay. I, I had no other way. Of, we I can't see like what you got. I know. So oh, let me he's it. giving an introduction. Okay. Excuse me. Oh. You know I'm about the food, baby. I we about the food. I am too. And talk about sweets. I need I to know. <laughs> so, because I need the creamer, because you know I'm a coffee lover and I need creamer for coffee. So, um, Stop and Shop has really good. A uh, really good bakery section. So I don't know if I can like. Eat it. I got cup. I got cupcakes. Okay, I got okay. cupcakes. Don't okay. hold it up so I can oh, see I, it. There we go. You know you gotta give Lauren a preview. Oh, you got yes. the little ones. Those are good. They're so cute, and you be eating like two of them. With this yes. And you know so what? When you like have a- them like that. You don't feel guilty. Like uh, mm-hmm. I don't count that. Yeah, you know that. Yeah, oh. I'd be thinking about it because I'm like, oh, I could have one. I'm not thinking so, about it tonight. Okay. <laughs> um, they call me like I was thinking of, about it. Um, and this is not very healthy because actually oh. the amount of butter in this is ridiculous. But I, like I have a raspberry, a powdered raspberry. Ooh. Don't drop a powdered raspberry okay. Ooh, a crumb. That looks good. That now looks let me tell you, good. This thing, when I say you melt in your mouth full of butter, and then the raspberry jam, it's like a raspberry preserve, but it's real raspberry. See if you could taste the um the raspberryness in it. So good. So I always drink it with a cup of tea. The balance it out. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> yeah, so you so need happy. Happy. We are going to enjoy our treats together offline, but we hope you guys enjoy our show and we'll be back next week with a whole new Them Wise Girls. I can't even get my my thoughts out because I'm ready to eat. (laughs) Me too. Thank you for sharing. Thank you everybody. Have a good evening and we'll be back next week. See you all. Bye.